Welcome back. I'll go ahead and explain to you the process and how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 14 to iOS 13 without losing any data. You'll pretty much have the exact same phone. You'll just be downgraded. Now, you will need a computer to do this, so keep that in mind. I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, but I'm pretty sure you can do this on a Windows as well. Now, before we get too far, first of all, I'm going to tell you, you need to back up everything on your iOS 14 device. And when I mean everything, I mean literally anything that you can. That means photos, videos, apps if you can go and store them on the iCloud, any messages, you know, any, you know, whatever else you can think of, you want to back up everything because just in case you do end up losing data or something goes wrong, because I'll tell you right now, when things you expect to go right, they almost always go wrong. And there's been many times I thought I did everything right and I ended up messing up. So I'm going to tell you right now, do a backup just in case something does go wrong. At least you'll still have a backup of all your stuff. Download Google Photos and back up everything before you go and do this. So now that I have that out of the way, what you want to do is you want to go to this website on your computer which is ipsw.me and I'll leave this link down in the description and once you're on this website you want to go ahead and figure out which device you have so if you have an iPhone obviously you want to click iPhone and then at this point you want to go ahead and find the specific IPSW file and then at this point what you want to do is you want to find your specific iPhone model so if you have an iPhone 10 you'll click iPhone 10 if you have an iPhone SE you'll click that and so on and so forth so you want to find that specific model that you have and then you want to go ahead and find it that specific IPSW file that is still supported. Now, if you're watching this like five months later, chances are iOS 14 is probably going to be the newest one. So you can go ahead and downgrade to the lowest iOS 14 model. But as of right now, iOS 13 is still signed. So you want to find the green one on the top and click on it and it'll take you to a different page. You can go ahead and download it from there. And it'll take a little bit of time to download. It's like a four gigabyte file. So it's going to take a minute. So once you have that, you want to go ahead and get iTunes and open it up. If you don't have iTunes installed, I'll go and leave the links down in the description on how you can get it on Mac and Windows, but you probably already have it installed if you've used an iPhone before. Now you want to go ahead and plug your iPhone into your computer. And what you'll see here is you'll, once you plug it in, iTunes will automatically detect your phone. Now this is very good. What you want to do is you want to go into iTunes and you'll see at the very top, you'll see your little iPhone, a little icon. You want to go ahead and click on that and it'll go ahead and give you all your device info. Now you will see a little option right there where it says, you know, check for update or restore or whatever. You do not want to click restore. You want to stay on check for update, but you want to click the option key and you want to click on check for update at the same time and what this will basically do is it'll allow you to actually select which specific IPSW file you want to install on your iPhone and it'll basically just update your device you know when you have an update on your iPhone this will basically downgrade it so it's not an update it's a downgrade so you're going backwards but you're still maintaining your data now on Windows I think it's the option key as well on it and you click it but I could be wrong I'll leave a link down in the description how to do it on Windows too but once you do that, you want to go ahead and search up that IPSW file that we downloaded from IPSW.me. And once you do that and you click on it, iTunes will pretty much go ahead and downgrade your device. Now, it'll keep the same data in it. It will take a while, so keep that in mind. It's not going to take like two seconds. It's going to take probably an hour. But once it's fully done, you'll actually have your device fully booted back on iOS 13. And this is probably the better way to go now for now because, you know, it's a little bit more stable. But this is a very, very good way in how to maintain the stability of your device and maintain the data at the same time so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count send me so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then